Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to talk about personal growth and admitting personal growth when it happens. And uh, we're going to do this because of a, a message I got. You know, I, I did that interview with Jesse over on the other channel, and it prompted a lot of great conversation prompted a lot of really nice messages, and it prompted some messages that, well, they weren't so nice, right? But one of them, well, it wasn't nice. Inside, there was just something so beautiful, and, and I want to share it with y'all. Okay, so here's, here's the message. And again, it's not a nice message, but inside it, there, there's something there. I see you're still pushing trans ideology. You're a disgrace. I won't be using the advice of people who can't define what a woman is. I thought I was going to get some nice sci-fi content. Instead, I got a bunch of woke bull, there's some colorful language in this that we're going to ignore, shoved down my throat. You're trash. It made me laugh, though when you talked about how important representation is. You still haven't had a white male on for an interview. Why don't you take your own advice? Where's our representation? Always pushing the leftist agenda. No normal content. You're a disgrace. Okay, so again, not a nice message. And there, there's a couple of different pieces to it, so we're going to kind of zip through the first two. Science fiction, generally speaking, as a general rule, is woke. Okay? The whole point of science fiction, it, it's a method of pulling a topic, a hard topic, out of its current framing and setting it somewhere else so it can be examined freely without the bias. That, that's, that's its purpose. Same thing with comic books, by the way, just so you know. And then it goes to the representation part, because you still haven't had a white male on for an interview. Okay. Well, representation is, is important. I want to point out that there's a white male in every episode over on the other channel. Me. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm there a lot. It, it's my channel. Okay. Aside from me, though... The person with the most screen time on that channel, other than me, is another white male. Okay? So there, there is representation, even though I know white men are like, you know, super underrepresented. Um, but in all fairness, it does say for an interview. And I'm going to have to agree with that. I have not had a white man on for an interview. I haven't interviewed myself. I haven't interviewed the other Florida man. Fine. Okay, you, you, you got me there. But now I want to get to the part that to me is just beautiful. It, it's beautiful. See, in this first paragraph, it, it says, I won't be taking the advice of people who can't define what a woman is. That silly gotcha question. You know, just being led around by right-wing pundits. Asking it, it is what it is, right? In, in the second part, though, somewhere between the first paragraph and the second paragraph, this person, the light bulb came on. A massive amount of personal growth happened. And, and they were willing to share it with all of us. Because it says, you still haven't had a light man on for an interview. And that's true. That's true. I've had more than one trans woman on, though. Right? This person, somewhere between the first paragraph and the second paragraph, they, they figured it out. They answered that silly gotcha question themselves. Because when they were scrolling through, they saw women, not men. Right? Somewhere, maybe they went and read the actual definitions, which would be a good place to start if you were looking to define a word. If you scroll through, most of them are going to have something along the lines of a person displaying feminine characteristics. That's going to be one of the definitions. 
So maybe they went and did that. Or maybe they realized all on their own that it was a silly gotcha question. And they came to the conclusion that it's a social construct, that it deals with gender. It has to do with identity and the way people present and stuff like that. And they, they did it themselves. And they were willing to share that moment of personal growth with tens of thousands of people. I think that's beautiful. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for growing as a person in that way. I, I do. I think it's beautiful. Um, now, the, the funny part about that, though, is that I guess the other alternative would be that they always knew the definition. They always knew the definition. They ask that question in the first paragraph in bad faith because they think it's funny. But when it comes down to it, they know that, well, they're not men. They're women. So they don't see the representation there. It could be either one. I personally want to give the person the benefit of the doubt and believe that they had that moment of personal growth and they were willing to share it with all of us in such a beautiful fashion. Now, if we could just get you to express your feelings a little bit more clearly, not have to put up that macho front, you might turn into a pretty decent person. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.